you lighten the mood for us while... Here? It's here? <laughs> yes. Is that thing a Zugal? Holy crap, it's huge! A central core and a guardian? Once we beat that thing, it'll stop the Wedge from taking in any more astral energy, right? It seems we're in for a fight regardless. Here it comes. Everyone. Is there no end to what the Renans can cook up? I don't know if that's machine or what, but I do know it's pissing me off. Watch yourself. There is no knowing what it is capable of. Any other wisdom you want to pass along? I'm just trying to do the best I can. Still, it's reassuring to have you around. As impressive as always. Ah, and here I hope that was improved. No, I, I mean you're even better than ever. I've never seen Sion actually look flustered.
okay? Hey, are you crying? I'm not the only one. I heard it. Whatever it was, I heard it. As did I. I'm not sure I'd call it a voice, but it was there. What in the world just happened? That was Dana's astral energy we just encountered. And I think what we heard might have been its voice. You're saying astral energy has a mind of its own? I haven't the slightest idea. But do you remember what happened when we fought Balsef back in Calaglia? You mean when that fire monster came out of the spirit vessel? Exactly. There was such a huge overflow of astral energy, it caused a monster to spawn and take physical form. Does that mean if you gather enough astral energy, it can become sentient or take a physical form? That's what I'm guessing. Master cores are able to hold a lot more energy than a spirit vessel. But we still haven't seen anything like that happen in our dealings with them. That being said, there may be a mechanism of sorts inside Master Cores and Spirit Vessels that prevents such reactions. That fire monster. I remember how it only appeared after Balsef's Spirit Vessel broke. Then the reason Rinwell was able to sense all that astral energy earlier must have been because it was too much for that Zoogle to contain by itself. So then where do you think the Zoogle went? All that energy and poof, it's gone. Indeed it does. However, in order for us to move our hypothesis forward, we will need to gather more evidence first. On that note, how are you holding up, Rinwell? I just can't work out why. Why the voice reached out to me first. Rinwell? I can't help but wonder if it's because of my heritage that I was the one to hear it. S sorry that's a strange thing to think, isn't it? Anyway, we should get going, right? Are we going to have to take this winding path all the way back down? To? Yeah, but if anything, it should be easier than the climb up. Really? Well then. Actually, oh. I've heard it's easier to develop muscle aches when going down. Seriously? Sometimes a retreat is the best strategy. Ugh! It'll body slam us into next week! That's no ordinary enemy I see over there. I have a bad feeling about this. Double team attack! Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on! Sweet Marlin, let's cut our losses! Up, this one's gonna be tough!
It looks like that beam of light has stopped. Then is it safe to say we've avoided oblivion for the time being? I can still sense a faint glimmer of energy, though. You can tell? Rinwell, your senses seem a lot sharper than before, don't they? And you said you heard that voice, right? I guess, maybe. If trace amounts, however small, do remain, then it leaves us no choice. We must destroy the entire structure. What do you suggest? Once that's done, what do we do then? <laughs> we go to Lenigus. <laughs> Even if we could destroy the whole wedge like he suggested, it'd only buy us time. The fact they sent this thing down tells me they're not giving up this planet without a fight. There's also the matter of the Renis Alma. But how do we even get to Lenigus? What if we hotwire one of their starships? Starships are only seen on Dana at the start and end of the Crown Contest. Believe it or not, we Renans down here aren't quite as free to come and go as one might think. Great. Well, I'm out of ideas then. We definitely don't have the tech to build a starship. Yeah. Waiting for a starship to come down from Lenigus would probably be quicker than that. Wait! Alfin, when you came down from Lenigus, it had to have been in a starship of your own, right? Right. Oh, of course. You can't be serious. That was 300 years ago. There's- That Alfin didn't wake up until a few years ago. Indeed. My memories around where I parked are still a little hazy, but I do know that I woke up in Calaglia. So chances are it's still in the area. Luckily, that realm's my old stomping ground. <sighs> This is it. Yeah. As long, as long as Lenigus stands there, there's no avoiding it. So what's this help in Calaglia you're planning to enlist? Our first port of call is Ulzebek. Back where you first started out. Yeah, along with my dad. <sighs> you okay? You don't look so good. <sighs> I think I'm just a little seasick. Liar. Huh? You heard me. You've never been good at hiding your emotions, Xion. Excuse me? Just what do you... No. You're right. I'm sorry. Is it about Alfin? No. Not just him. Something you can't talk about? Rinwell, I'm... I'm not like the rest of you. Of course you are! <sighs> No, I'm serious. Back when we first met, I think maybe then I did think we were different. But now I know that isn't true. <laughs> if any of us is different, it's me. Everyone has their own pain that can be hard for other people to understand. 
I saw the two of you talking and thought you could use a third wheel. So, here I am. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> if anyone's the odd one out here, it's me. Believe me. Want me to go? I didn't say that. I get that you must have a lot circling around that head of yours. And that's okay. Whatever's worrying you right now, you're allowed to worry about it. I know I'm not a Renin like you, or a mage like Rinwell. I'm not a sovereign, maiden, or lord. I'm just a Danon who used to be a slave. But regardless of all that, I'm here for you, Xion. That goes for me, too. We all want to be there for you. I mean, that is what friends are supposed to do, right? <laughs> I said this to Alfin, and now I'll say it to you. You're not alone in this. Thank you. Renwell. Kisara. And right on cue, I think I should make my way back and lie down for a bit. Yeah, I better head back too. Can you imagine Law at the helm? Still. If that's true, then it's all the more reason I have to do this. I think it's safe to rest here now. Ah, Calaglia. Feels like it's been ages. And wasn't Zephyr with us too? Dad. Hey, chin up! This is your hometown! your friends, Hoodle? Oh, just one thing after another, and it all falls on my head to... Hey, Nath. What? Can't you see I'm... Alfin? Looks like you have your hands full. As much as ever. As if I wasn't busy enough putting down the last remnants of Renan rule, I'm up to my ears in Dan and disputes. And then, to top it all off, that thing had to come crashing down from out of the sky. Pretty sure we've heard this somewhere before. But enough about my problems. Yeah, we're looking for an old Renan starship. A starship? To get to Lenegas. Lenegas? Believe it or not, it wouldn't be the craziest thing we've done recently. Well, I believe it. Then do you have any historical records by chance? Sure, we've got- Mind if we take a look? Yeah. Okay, thanks, Nath. I read through all of the records. It mentions a rock that shot across the sky and landed past the mountains. And you think that might be the starship? I don't know. It looked like it was some... Bird. That ring any bells? Yeah, that's one of the... Another meteor? I wonder if it... All the more reason to... The old Zion mom. But you should be careful. Huh? I don't know if it has anything to do with... A zoo goal. When I turned back... So... Hmm... 
Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> hmm? I guess. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Right. <laughs> I didn't like the sound of that monster Nath was talking about one bit. Well, we have to press on. Going through Zion Mine to Berg Volcano. Let's move. It's quite hot here. The cl climate feels different from Menenseas. It's gotten much cooler since leaving town, though. Does that mean eyes were burning holes in us? Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. So we're back in the Zion Mine Tunnels. Who would have thought we'd be going through this place again? This is where you and I first fought together. And also the first time we touched, as I recall. Wait, really? Yes, really. is supposed to take us out to Berg Volcano? We're not gonna see any lava burst out in front of us or anything, are we? Don't get so paranoid you let a rock fall on your head, Law. the inner portion of Berg Volcano. Huh. You can make plants grow instantly? <laughs> what if we use this for fruit? It's in vegetables. I'd rather not be our party's fertilizer. Thank you very much. My... My face is starting to sting. My throat feels super parched. Here, have some water. Just make sure you don't drink too much. Thanks. You want some too, Shion? Oh, wait. You're hungry more than anything, aren't you? I'm fine, thank you very much.
crazy to see rocks melt before our eyes. Watch where you're going, everyone. If you fall, there will be nothing left. I didn't know you had that sort of trick up your sleeve, darling. I would have figured rocks and plants would be... ...be too different for you to handle both. 